one of these free. And you take it, you plug it in anywhere you want in your downline, you put your social security number in it, and you introduce the business to Mary and Tom, and you start all over again until this one is earning 1200 to 3000 a week. And when this one hits this bonus for the first time, which means someone on its left and someone on its right earns step three, they give you another one free. You plug it in down here, put your social security number in it, introduce it to Mary and Tom, and when that one hits this bonus for the first time, they give you another one, and that goes on for infinity. In the length of time I've been in this business, which is since November 1st, I have already earned four free income resource centers. I don't even know what to do with them because I can't work them all yet. There's a lady in Sarasota, her name is Linda Rissey, who started in this business in May. She was a Mary Kay sales lady prior to doing this, and she told me that she had never made $1,200 a week selling Mary Kay. She had actually made about $500 a month. She said she made $1,200 a week at Christmas time when they have all the open houses that they have with Mary Kay. But she asked me about three weeks ago, she called and said, I have just earned a new expansion center. That's one of these free ones. She said, do you mind if I fax it over for you to put in your organization somewhere? And of course, I was thrilled because that means she'll be putting people in underneath me. But when I got it, now this is your 001. The computer calls that your 001. This free one's your 002. That free one's your 003 and so forth and so on. And the one she sent me over was her 011. Now that means... Since that girl came into this business in May, she has earned that many free ones. Now, you have to be making six, $1,600 on one before you get a free one. And I'm a preschool teacher, so I don't know what 11 times 1,600 is. But if you round that off, that's an awfully lot of money for six months. And the only difference between Linda Rissy and me is six months, and the only difference between Linda Rissy and you is eight months. Okay? Now what happens once you earn this check for the first time, or this check for the first time, or any one of these checks, and whether it's your first week or your sixth month, it doesn't make any difference, when you earn your first check, from that point on, 30 days from the day you, actually from the day they cut that check, you have to start purchasing $75 worth of product each month. That's Florida State Network Marketing Law. I think it's law probably in all 50 states. Now, because you're earning all the free prepaid long distance you want, and I'm earning and have earned for the last three or four weeks 20 and a half hours a week because I'm operating more than one of these, 20 and a half hours of long distance a week. So needless to say, I don't need to buy $75 a month worth of prepaid long distance to use myself. So what you order is they have all kinds of neat promotional items. They have little 10-minute cards. They have the STS logo on them, and you might give them to someone and say, I've just gotten involved in something really exciting. I'd like to tell you about it. Why don't you use this card, and I'll give you a call in a few days. Well, when they use that card, a message comes on that says, this call is courtesy of STS. If you'd like to earn free long distance for the rest of your life and earn a substantial weekly income, please call the person that gave you this card. So because you're going to buy those kinds of things, they have peel-off labels that are worth 10 minutes of free long distance that you can put on the back of your own business card, or you can put it at the bottom of a letter if you want to write someone from out of town and tell them you've just got involved in this, send them some, some brochures, send them the fax on demand number, and give them a prepaid phone call with a prepaid peel-off long-distance label. Because you're going to buy those kind of things, this $75, number one, is 100% deductible. And number two, when everyone in your downline or all the people in your downline that are earning a check are also going to be purchasing $75 a month with the product, which means it's not very long, two or three months into the business, when the computer comes here, looks on your left each week and looks on the right each week for your $1,000 or your $2,000 or your $3,000, they're also going to total up all these $75 purchases. And it isn't very long, and I have met people in Sarasota who get their entire weekly check just on those $75 purchases. And when I receive my check this week, with it comes a printout and shows you everybody that you have earned commission on and everything that people have purchased. If you were to buy $200 worth of cards uh, in addition to coming into the business, that would be on there. Well, on this week's check, there were 23 of these $75 purchases. So already, after only 10 weeks in this business, I'm already earning a substantial weekly income just on the $75 a month purchases. Okay? 
Do you know what we don't have is an eraser, which is my... Ah, oh, look at you. How professional. Gee, I don't even have one of these anymore. I'll leave these at everybody's house. Okay, what happens is the company allows you one time and one time only, and this is a very, very powerful leverage that the company offers to you. And I used to kind of slough over this because I was very uncomfortable with the fact that it may sound like a high-pressured sales pitch. But what has happened is in the last few weeks, people have come back to me and said, Stephanie, you really didn't explain the tripack. It isn't fair. If I had understood it, that's how I would have come into the company. So I want to explain it. I want everyone to understand it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to interrupt me. One time and one time only, the company will allow you to come in for your $99. Your social security number is here. This is your 001, and you're going to purchase $200 worth of product, just like we said. They will allow you... Instead of introducing this business to Mary and Tom, you may sell the first two spots underneath you to yourself. Your social security number will go here, and you will purchase $200 worth of product in each one of these spots, your 002 and your 003. Now that means instead of $299, you're going to purchase $600 worth of product and a $99 career pack. Instead of having five and a half hours of prepaid long distance, you're going to have 15 and a half hours of prepaid long distance and a career pack and a tape and an audio and all the things that come with this. Now, one of the advantages to this is you have satisfied your two, four, six hundred dollars worth of personal sales. So you can start earning commission immediately. The second advantage, and there's a number of ways that you can work this, and I'm going to show you several, is this. This is the left and the right of your 001. Your 002 has a left and a right, and your 003 has a left and a right. So let's say that we sell this spot to Mary and this spot to Tom. And then they sell to Arthur and Bob and Chuck and David and Earl and Frank and George and Harold and Jack and Larry, et cetera, et cetera. So now when the computer comes Monday at noon to my Social Security number, it's going to look on my left and it's going to find this volume. And it's going to look on my right and it's going to find this volume. So I'm going to get my check. Let's say I'm going to get my $1,200 check. Okay? Now, once this, this 001 has earned $1,200 three, four, five weeks in a row, it's kind of a judgment call. At some point, it takes on a life of its own, and it does that no matter what. And that's based on the number of people that are underneath you. Well, then you come and introduce this program to another Mary, and you start a leg here. You might run into a real go-getter you know is going to just go crazy over this business, and so you open another leg. Now you're operating three legs. Well, when the computer comes here, looks on your left, it finds this volume, looks on the right, finds this volume, pays you that check. Then it comes down here to your 002, finds a left leg and a right leg, gives you a check. Now, the beauty of this is this left leg, whatever volume this is, let's say $2,000, that $2,000 is paying your 001, and that same $2,000 is paying your 002 because it's the left leg of your 002 and it's the left leg of your 001. Then a few months down the line you run into another real go-getter. Hey, I'm going to open up another leg. New Mary. She's going to sell it to Arthur and Bob and Chuck and David and now when the computer comes to every one of your IRCs, it's going to pay all of them. And so what happens here is that you have four legs but you get paid three checks. You have two organizations, and you get an absolutely free check without doing anything. And what happens is when this one reaches that $400 for the, for the first time, that bonus, you get a free IRC. When this one reaches bonus for the first time, you get a free IRC. When this one reaches bonus for the first time, you get a free IRC, which means you get three times the bonuses for two times the work, three times the pay for two times the work. I'm going to give you an example of something that happened to me. Now, right now, I am operating four IRCs because I happen to be operating all three of mine and a free one that I got. My other free ones are in a file cabinet, okay? But what happened here is, let's just say I had two legs. I happened to go to Jacksonville weekend before last, and it just happened to be an incredible weekend. It happened to be my daughter, and she had invited friends over. She hadn't gotten into the business yet. And... From the time I gave the presentation on Saturday till the time she got through at the end of the week, they, they had 40-ish 
I forget the number now, of apps, 40 new people, let's say. So when I came back and sent these in Saturday, I put that first one there, the second one there, the third one there, the fourth one there, the fifth one there, all the way down to 40. And because that volume was so large, this one, the very first week that it opened up, earned a $2,000 check because this one was already very strong. This is where Kathy Buffington and all her people are and Nancy Pritchett and all the people above her. So it's already got people underneath it hitting step three every week. I have more than one person hitting step three every week here. Automatically in this group of 40 people, I had two people hit step three even though it was their first week. And so I earned the $2,000 check and should earn that $2,000 check on that 002 from here on out. I never could have done that if I hadn't had the tri-pack. I could have still opened this leg on one of my free ones, but I still would have only had one leg. I would have had to find someone else to do the other side. So it's a very, very powerful opportunity, and you can only do it one time. You can only come into the business one time under your own Social Security number. You can come in under husband and wife so that if you choose not to buy a tri-pack, you can come in at a later date in your wife or husband's name in a tri-pack, but you can only do it one time in your social security number. Now, i like just to finish up with this report that was published by Harvard Business School. And they say that network marketing is being taught in more than 200 colleges, including Harvard Business School. After extensive research into the network marketing industry, Harvard Business School developed three criteria that a network marketing company must have in order to make it a most desirable opportunity. And they are, number one, the company must be at least 18 months old, as 90% of all network marketing companies that fail do so in the first 18 months. Now, this company is only eight, eight months old, but people that are expert in next net network marketing believe that they meet this criteria because the four corporate officers have been together in telecommunications for five and a half years. And the reason they established this criteria to begin with is because they think it's important that there's a strong management structure. And because these people have been together so long, they feel that we meet this criteria. Number two, the company must have a product which is unique and highly consumable, nothing more consumable than a debit card. And number three, Harvard says it needs to be a ground floor opportunity. Harvard's business school suggests that in order for the opportunity to qualify as a ground floor type, the number of existing distributorships should be less than one half of one percent in the country where the network company exists. In the United States, this figure is equal to 1.5 million people, which translated means if the company has less than 100,000 distributors, and as of last week, STS had 37,000, then Harvard Business School considers it to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And the only difference between me and every person in this room is 10 weeks. And that's a fact. Does anybody have any questions? It's mind-boggling, isn't it? <laughs> it's a little overwhelming a little bit. But yes, it is. The question I had was, uh, say somebody drops out of your downline or dies from all the excitement. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. If somebody dies, number one, if somebody dies, it's it's a business and it's inheritable, just like if you owned a gas station, you know, it becomes part of your state. But what you're a asking is if what happens to the circle, it becomes inactive and the money just goes right through it and on up. Absolutely nothing happens to it. It's just a vacant space. You don't ever fill it with anybody else. Yeah. You can sell. You can sell your business. You can transfer your business. You can give it away. You can will it. It's no different than owning a gas station. You can put a different social security number to that spot. If you were to decide, if you owned an income resource center and decided you wanted to give it to your son or to your best friend, yes, there is a way you have to do it. It costs $50. It involves some notarized signatures, but there's a way to do it. It's in your manual. And they'd right away be making the money that it was already mm -hmm. making. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, we've already done that one time. My husband bought one and we ended up putting it in my daughter's name and just involved a letter and a social security numbers and notar notary and that kind of thing, yeah. Any other questions? Any downsides you run across? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. No, and that's, and we've had some serious problems. We had a real serious problem with Kathy Buffington, with me making a mistake on a social security number and her losing an entire leg. We've had, we've had a number of other serious mistakes that have caused, caused people problems. But everything that's happened, losing an entire leg. We've had 
We've had a number of other serious mistakes that have caused, caused people problems. But everything that's happened, the company has come right in and fixed as quickly as possible to everyone's satisfaction. I haven't had a single problem that they haven't come right to the rescue. Um, they have under-promised and over-delivered and everything. I keep looking for something like that to happen. We had somebody, um, this $75, if you don't pay it within 30 days, you become inactive. And you don't get your check that week. Now, you can reactivate by sending it the next week, but they don't remind you about it. You can automatically have it deducted from your checking account or from your MasterCard, but they don't bill you. And I had, you know, he happened to be a firefighter, very young, 25, you know, struggling to make ends meet. And he forgot to send in his, and he was due to get a $1,000 check that week. He'd already gotten his 200 I mean, he called me absolutely in tears, and I said, you know, Chuck, there's, there's just, it's, it's policy. I mean, it's in your manual. You know, I remind you at every presentation, you know, my heart's broken, but there really isn't anything I can do. But I called up there just to see what the policy was for requalifying him. Could he just send it in, or did he need to overnight it? And I was so upset when I called. You know, they said, Stephanie, we're just going to give him the check. You know, and they mailed it anyway. I don't know that they'll ever do that again. You know, and I can't say that, don't worry about sending it again, but that particular incident, and there was a couple extenuating circumstances that caused them to do it. But I'm just telling you, they're bending over backwards, you know, to do those kind of things. And this company is so ground floor that the president of the company, his name is Bert Schlegel, you know, he's head honcho. I got my Bert Schlegel phone call. Oh, did you really? Okay, well, what, what Kathy's saying, I'm going to have her tell you about in a minute, but Birch Lagle has actually called my house before because I've sent up paperwork to correct errors, and, and data entry girls have gone into him and said, you know, hey, does this girl know what she's doing? And he's called me on the phone to make sure that the paperwork I was sending in was correct, and I did, in fact, want to do what what I said I was doing. And that's not going to happen with Amway. I don't know who that head honcho is, but he's not calling Stephanie McAnley in Arcadia, Florida. I know that. What, did he call you about the error we made? No. One of my downlines sent a money order, a U.S. Postal money order for 760 for a tri-pack. Well, it was only valid for up to 700. And he called me and said, Kathy, this isn't valid. You know, what do you want to do? So we sent him another one. He sent that one back. He got it all cleared up. Interestingly enough, I sent that myself at the Tampa Airport Post Office Sunday, and whenever, because I was buying a lot of them there, and when they came, when the, I was going through them in front of the post, the postal employee, when he saw that, he says, that's not legal, you can't do that. I said, oh, they can do it in Punta Gorda. <laughs> 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 and he explained to me real quickly that regulations were the same in Punta Gorda as they were in Tampa. But he said, go ahead and send it through. He said, I don't know whether they'll take it or not, but, you know. So, and they let the app go through? No. Well, we had to send them a new one. Okay. Do you realize what that means, though? That means that they're, if they're processing your apps, that means the mistake is fixed. No, this was my right leg. Yeah, but they all, they all went, when I sent in all your apps this week, I put them in one package, and I said, do not proce process these unless... It's been fixed. Okay. Well, he pulled me up because I asked him about that. I said, now I have this other little problem. And when he pulled me up, he said, no, you have 200 on your left and 4,200 on your right. That was all in the same. Well, okay. And I called Tammy today, but she didn't return my call. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, that, everything was all in the same package, so that means it's, it's gone to the right people. And you know, I said, these apps cannot be processed until this is fixed. So they wouldn't have. You know, it might not be in the computer yet, but it's... Okay. Okay, any questions? Yeah. How many people is it, uh, I guess, because of Knoxville? Or how many people what? Is it Knoxville working? I mean, you kinda have, do you have any idea? Are you, you asking me how many people are in Knoxville? Yeah, I mean, no, not the city itself. But I know. How many know. reps? I don't have a clue. Okay. There's yeah. There's large volume of processes coming in. And oh, you mean how many people work in the home office? Yeah. No, I don't know. Staff yeah. I do know that I do know that there's a lot of growing pains there because it's growing so fast. You know, that there's always new people and... But no, I don't know. Mm -mm. Yeah? Wait, when you get the tri-pack, the, the $75, now do you only have to pay that for one? Or does, do you have to pay that every time you open it? The answer is yes and no. Whenever, whenever you're just earning a check on your 001, uh -huh. you only have to purchase $75 worth of product on that one. But as soon as you start receiving a check on this one, then you also have to purchase. But understand your checks are weekly. This is monthly, and you're not ever going to open another one until this one's earning at least $1,200 a week. The girl in Sarasota that sent me 011, she has to purchase $75 a month times 11, and who cares? <laughs> That's what happens when it gets to that point. It just doesn't make any difference. 
Yeah, but yes, you do. If you're earning a check on an IRC, you have to purchase 75. Because each one of these is a separate business in the eyes of Florida state law. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? More legal questions to come up. <laughs> have you had any, any legal uh, questions or people worried about being legal and things like that? Well, when they do, I ask them to call the attorney general's office in Tallahassee. That's what we did. Yeah. And they gave us a, you know, a fine bill of health. Had not heard a thing. It was registered to do business in Florida, and there had been no complaints, no, no inquiries even. You know. And I told you we checked out the law firm that set it up and. Yeah. What about the product itself? You weren't interested. You were just here to take <laughs> pictures. <laughs> I told him after he heard it. <laughs> well, you, you spoke about as far as the uh, getting people to sign up. What about the product itself? What it, it, yeah, it just the tell me what you're asking, though. How much is the calling card like per minute or whatever? How would you sell that? The, the card varies. If you buy one card, it's 60 cents a minute. If you buy a million minutes, it's as low as 13 cents a minute. So if you were going to sell to a car dealership who would probably order a million minutes, he would get it as low as... Well, that's wholesale. You would, I don't know, you'd probably sell it for 20 cents a minute because of your profit. And, but it depends on the volume. If you buy one card, they're expensive. Although 60 cents a minute really isn't expensive away from your home. It's only